This is Tony Poulos reporting from Mobile Backhaul 2011, a conference being held in Bangkok. Today I'm with Basharat Ashai, who is a market analyst for Asia Pacific and the Middle East at Maravedis. Basharat, welcome. Good to have you here. Uh, nice meeting you. Nice okay. Meeting. I'd really like to know a little bit more about Maravedis and what your role is in the company. Maravedis is a telecom research group focused on wireless broadband. We do research about WiMAX, LT, and 3G. We don't do everything, just like you see a lot of research companies, I mean, doing VOIP, IPTV. We're just focused on WiMAX, LTE, and 3G. This is, this is our core focus. We keep hearing that mobile operators are experiencing a data explosion and the subsequent capacity crunch that comes with it. How are they going to handle this? Yes, I mean, uh, since I'm at uh, this event here in Thailand, I mean, uh, the message we are getting is that mobile data traffic is on the rise. Uh, data tsunami is going to happen sooner or later. But every operator is talking about that they have seen a tremendous growth on their networks. I can give you some examples, although I don't remember off the top of my head the exact figures. But more than 100% traffic growth for every network, be it Ethis Alad, be it Mobily, be it other ne top networks worldwide. Uh, the major example, AT&T in USA. So all of these operators are having a problem. Their networks are getting congested. It's because of the usage of more smartphones, and now they have a problem. These networks are going to get congested, and they need to offload. And there are mediums, and there are technologies and strategies to handle this offload. First is they can use Wi-Fi as a medium to offload the data traffic. Then they have also the option of using femtocells, which I think uh, is still in, we can talk about that later. And they can also move away from unlimited data plans, which is the trend I'm seeing in the industry. And th these are the main, I mean, bits for uh, handling the traffic offload. We hear that femtocells may be used to help alleviate this capacity crunch. But when, when do we expect to see mass, you know, uh, take up of femtocells? Femtocells is a device that uh, handles indoor coverage. But at the same time, you can use this device for handling data offload. But the current situation is, I mean, the market is just, I mean, uh, picking up. Uh, there's, there's activity is going to happen this year. Last year, we witnessed some activity. I would say uh, the price points are the barrier at present for the femtocell. It's close to $100 or $100 above. I personally think the femtocell market is going to uh, take off starting 2012 onwards because that's where I believe the femtocell price will touch around maybe $50 upfront payment. But I would say the activity is heating up. This year, a lot of operators are now trialing femtocell, Shungwa Telecom, China Mobile, and others, everyone. So activity is going to heat up. Are we really moving away from those unlimited data plans that were so popular? And what is the alternative if we get away from them? And, and what are the issues associated with those alternatives? Yeah. I mean, last year in 2010, we saw a lot of operators moving away from unlimited data plans. Uh, you see examples of AT&T. They had a problem and they uh, abandoned this uh, limited data plan. Now, other operators are following the same path. Uh, you see examples of Orange and uh, operators in Europe. The reason is, I mean, 3G technology uh, from the ground up was not designed to handle these unlimited data plans. I mean, no, no technology as such will uh, be able to handle these unlimited data plans when, when there will be more subscribers and the usage will be more. So I think the same is going to happen with LTE, even if the technology is designed to handle more capacity and all that. But is the problem is going to happen for LTE. So operators need to fix this once for all. Do they need to provide unlimited or limited data? But the trend I'm seeing in the industry is that uh, there's a trend towards uh, moving away from unlimited data plans. This is what I have witnessed in the industry. And going forward, I think this is going to continue. Uh, although there are some challenges, because maybe uh, from an end, end user uh, standpoint, maybe I mean, uh, it, it will lead to churn. But I would say this, is, this will continue. Last year, backhaul was the big topic at this event. What's changed in one year? Yes, uh, I mean, operators continue to invest in backhaul. I mean, they know the challenges for data traffic. They need to do it sooner or later. But operators are now more keen to upgrade their backhaul, moving to I more IP kind of a backhaul. And this is what we saw at the event. And uh, we have leading microwave vendors here, Dragon Wave, Saragon, and others. 
So I think they will continue to invest in backhaul, and going forward, I think uh, that that will be the I think majority of the capex will go to the backhaul. Bashar Dashai, thanks for spending time here today with us. Oh, thank you very much. Nice having me. On.